Welcome back to cloud computing and today we'll be starting cloud service models. So we'll be seeing the first one that is ES infrastructure as a service. So stay till the end of the video. Everybody out there welcome to the channel. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to turn on the notification so that you don't miss any future videos. So let's hop into it. So let's start it. So infrastructure as a service provides access to fundamental resources such as physical machines, virtual machines and virtual storage etc. Rather than purchasing servers or developing software, clients can buy those softwares as a fully outsourced service based on their requirement. It is kind of like public cloud. So public cloud is considered as an infrastructure that consists of shared resources based on a self-service over the internet. So in one word, it is only layer of the cloud where the customer gets the platform for their own organizations for their own organization to outsource the IT infrastructure on a pay per use basis. So what happens is, so you will be asking or you will be buying some features of the cloud and you will be using that for your own organizations. Okay, suppose you are buying storage from the ES vendor that is infrastructure service and so in the background all of these things are executing and in the end you will see this is the software owners it will go to the ES vendor and after doing all the background things okay and after that you will receive as an end user you will see the finished application and you will be using that for your own organization or for your own self so now let us see what ES provides users with so it gives the feature of load balancers disk storage via virtual machines software packages, IP addresses and VLANs ok so these are the features that are provided by ES ok so now let us see the advantages of ES so the advantage number one is it is quite dynamic so users can dynamically opt and configure devices such as CPU, storage drive so you can everything is customizable ok and the access is very easy so users can easily access the vast cloud computing power so everything is there for you and the renting is quite flexible and efficient now let us see some disadvantages of the ES so internet connection is a must so it cannot be used in rural or remote areas and the ES depends on virtualization services so virtualization concept is I will explain that later so this service restricts the user's privacy and customization and there's some kind of privacy hindrance also so this were the disadvantages so this was all you needed to know about ES that is infrastructure as a service and if you did like the video hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching it